Hello, Ventrilo seekers out there that love Ventrilo, that love, love Ventrilo, that want to install a Ventrilo on your Mac system. I'm going to give a tutorial today. My name is Mac Attack. Uh, for those who don't know who I am, that's my screen name. Um, okay, so we're going to start by clicking Safari, uh, which I already have Ventrilo already installed. It's actually www.ventrilo.com. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the home page, so we don't start from the beginning here. And this is what the first page that comes up when you go into that web page. Uh, we're going to click download. Then uh, we're going to go to Mac OS X 10.4 or higher. They do, this is compatible to Leopard and the uh, anything below 10.4, it won't work, for especially for the older um, Mac OS X systems. So today is my tutorial for Leopard OS X with Mac OS X 10.4 or higher. 32 bit Ventrilo. Alright, so we're going to click that and then we click Agree. And it's going to download. Once it's download, another window will come up. So we're going to minimize this and close this. And here we're going to click Continue. Very easy. Excellent wizard. Continue. Select the hard drive. Click continue. Install. And then, okay. This is my password. For you, those who don't have, will probably will not pop up, but I have that security feature for adding my password. So we're going to click close. Now, Ventrilo is installed. To find Ventrilo, is go to Finder. Go to Applications, and Ventrilo will be right here in your Applications. So all you do is drag it down to your desktop, just like this, which I already have it, so I don't need to. So I'll just double click, and a window will come up just like this. I already have Ventrilo installed, but we're going to start with New. So we're just going to go here and click this arrow right here. A lot of people get confused with this arrow. Basically, if you put your mouse on it, it'll say Edit Users. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the user, which is for you guys um, that are new, you're going to create a new user. So we're going to click New, and then here you type in your screen name, your gaming name, screen name, or however you want to put your name there. For me, I'm going to put Mac Attack. Click OK. Phonetic. Uh, phonetic is basically Mac Attack. What does it mean? If it's your phonetic of Mac Attack. It could be anything. It's, it's something in regards to playing online so I usually don't put anything phonetic description um, um, <laughs> Mac tutorial test for me alright so we got that Mac attack tutorial test now we're gonna um, put in the server so it's the type of server that you're gonna connect to whether it's an open or closed server so we're gonna click new the name of the server it could be a some servers have a name um, a, a DNS name could be like um, game games are us dot mine dot nu for example um, for here we're gonna put the IP address of 8.3.5.149 that's the IP address for my Ventrilo and then we're gonna put that here also under the host IP name 8.3.5.149 and the port number will be 4399 it's always good to find out what the port number it is also a lot of a lot of Ventrilo servers use the default port number um, in this case we have our own port number um, and it is monitored by an admin Okay, so password here. If it doesn't have a password, then you don't need to put anything here. Default channel. Um, it actually forwards to channel where you're going to. So the the server is actually set up to where for anyone that goes into a Ventrilo server is basically defaulted to a certain channel on their server. Okay, so you don't need to put anything there because you'll be going into the main server. So click OK. Now we should be able to connect. The bindings, I wouldn't worry about the bindings for now. 
<clears throat> not important. You just basically want to set up Ventrilo really quick and use it and talk to your friends online when you're gaming, basically. All right, so we're going to click Connect. And now we're connected. So mine is Mac Attack. And I've got a few friends in here. Um, basically, this is... Um, you'll be actually entered into the Ventrilo server from this point. These are different rooms and different lobbies. Um, basically, the ones with red plus are the ones that have a password or require a password to get into that type of lobby. The ones with the blue plus are pretty much open and don't require a password to get in. Now, for example, a lot of people say your signal or your voice is very low or we have bad connection or something like that. Well, for me, since I'm the I'm one of the admins here, I'm going to log on real quick. Usually that will pop up if you don't know the, if you keep <laughs> inputting the wrong password. So, since uh, this is A means admin, I'm one of the admins here to the server. So what we're going to do is, for example, if you have a friend um, that's in here already and you can't hear him and you're having a hard time, I'm going to give you a little brief tutorial on the setup and some of the miscellaneous stuff and how to create a room, especially. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight um, this person right here. His name is Amval. And his signal is poor, and I can't hear him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click. And then I'm going to go to Miscellaneous, and I'm going to select Special Effects. Here in Special Effects, it gives the input of their, their, their input of their microphone gain. So they're at 100%. So if, you, if their microphone is, is very low and you want to increase it, you can increase it to about 300. Play it from there, or you can increase it to 400. I usually increase it to 300 and go from there. And then now that's indicated an S next to his screen name, indicating special effect on this particular person. Okay. Um, other than that, let's go to setup. Keep in mind, once you're in setup, um, if any of the users are trying to call you, you won't be heard because it, it mutes um, your screen name. Over here on sound, sound output and sound input, this is where how you have a headset. If you decide to use your headset as a microphone and you want to use your PC just basically for vi uh, speakers, you can do it here, vice versa. Built-in mic input is mine, and I'm using a built-in input for mine. So I just use it. I'll just go back to default. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. This actually alters the main um, microphone and um, speakers here under system preferences. So we don't. It's up to you if you guys want to play that. <clears throat> okay. So for those who like Vox, which is voice operated or hands free, uh, for those who would like to use that, um, it's already set up automatically. Um, if you want to use push to talk, you would put a check mark over here, and you would change the sensitivity. Let's see if we can change it here. Uh, I usually select twenty percent for sensitivity for Vox, but now if I want to use push to talk. No, I don't want to use that. Now I'm able to talk. So let's test it. And press OK. And let's go into the room. Anybody, uh, let's see. Control. Oh, I forgot to set up my, my push to talk button, hot, my hotkey. Here we go. This is where you set up your hotkey for push to talk. Just highlight here. Control, or press D, or G, or caps lock, so however you want to use your hotkey. So right now I use my left control as my hotkey. Click OK. Test 1, 2, DTA, S, I mean, Envold, can you guys hear me? 